receiving schools here is your reference for today's lesson your strength substrength outcome topic materials and your reference Good morning, HCs, receiving school students and teachers. Thank you, you may sit down. All right, HCs and receiving students. Um, let's just go through our homework, which I gave to you last time. We didn't, we didn't correct that, that exercise from our previous uh, lesson. All right, the homework was on where you were to um, draw a grid, right? Draw up a grid and then plot, plot the grid references onto your grid. All right, receiving students, please. Okay, let me see. Okay. Okay, uh, receiving students, please, can you check on your, your, your grids, please? Or uh, receiving teachers, could you just check your students? All right, um, Aces, I hope you have you had your you have your grid there. Okay, we'll have some volunteers to come up and plot down the grid references. Okay, can we have someone to come up here quickly? And um, what's the first? Uh, that you were to plot down? Swamp, huh? Okay, some of you sh maybe had something like this. Okay. Some, wait, let's 
ことですね。All right, we have the swamp, lake,、um, river, trees. Okay, river, trees, swamp. Let's see. Three, lake. B two, river. A one, trees. D four. Okay, quickly. Can I have one volunteer quickly? Can you? Someone to do swamp, lake, river, and trees. Okay, let's have Eunice. You plot this onto your grid, okay? Receiving students. All right. Okay, okay you can do that. All the all four. Okay, Eunice, you can do the all of it. So we won't waste time. Waiting for volunteers. Okay, thank you, Eunice. All right, I'd like you others to check your grid, check your grids, to see that you have、uh, something like this. Receiving students, right? So you want to drop a grid and you want to plot this onto your grid, all right? And okay, the swamp C three, all right. So we have C three, okay. That's correct. That's the grid reference C three for the swamp.、Um, the lake B two, river A one, and trees D four. So you always look across first. Receiving students eight Cs. Always look across first before. You look up, all right, and then, or after you look up, okay. So that's why our letters come first: D four,、uh, C three, because we look across first. Andy, I hope you are listening. You concentrate so you'll understand this. All right. Okay, so that was your your homework, your revision exercise. All right, receiving students and eight Cs.、Um, quickly, just today's topic. We still on our revision topics. All right, rainforests. Okay, quickly. Get this one down. Okay, receiving students. Like I said, this topic is a revision a topic. Okay, we looked at rainforests in our previous lessons, and we also looked at the structure. All right, of a rainforest. Okay. 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 Can I have everyone to look up here, please? Eight Cs and receiving students. Okay. Can I have you to read、uh, number one, please? Okay. Read together. One, two. Just number one. 
Okay. All right. How many of you have pencils with you? Hands up. If you have pencils with you, hands up. Receiving students, do you have any pencils there? Okay, hands down. All right. Number one, what you're going to do is you're going to do, draw a simple diagram of a rainforest. Okay, simple diagram of a rainforest. If you have colors, please, later on you can make sure you color your, your rainforest. Okay, number two, after that, you're going to label the following features on your diagram. Forest floor, canopy, emergent, upper story, shrub layer. All those features, you're going to label it onto your, your diagram or your picture that you've drawn. Okay. Oh, I, I have a picture, similar picture here. So you draw your own diagram of the rainforest and then you label. All right, you're going to label your rainforest, the features. Canopy, all right, it says here, forest floor, canopy, emergent, upper story, shrub layer. But firstly, what, you got, what you're going to do is you're going to draw a, a diagram of a rainforest first, okay? You'll draw a simple one. You don't have to draw so many trees so that you'll take time, no. Just draw one or two trees. Uh, the diagram and then canopy emergent and so forth okay so maybe something okay I hope you don't mind my picture here it's I didn't use the appropriate colors where the leaves should be green Instead, it's blue. That's okay. All right. So you draw a simple diagram of the rainforest. And then beside, okay, beside you label your features. Okay. Where is the forest floor? Where is the shrub layer? The emergent? The canopy? So you're not going to take time drawing your diagram, sketching your diagram, because like I said, you just draw a simple one, okay? Just draw a simple diagram, that's, and then finish. You can label your features. Okay. So I'll just write the question up there. Okay. Um, so it says, number one, Firstly, says sketch and color. Oof. Sorry, and color. Two. Then it says label the features of the rainforest. Okay, forest floor. Then we have the canopy, and then Emergent Okay, this is this is question one and two.
Some have finished with their drawings, very good. Like I said, just simple, simple drawing, simple diagram. Okay, when you've done that, now you label the features of your rainforest. All right, receiving students, after you have finished with your diagram, right, you then label your features. Sorry, label the features of the rainforest. And the features are on the screen. Forest floor, canopy, emergent, upper story, shrub layer. Okay, has anyone finished labeling? All right, have you finished? <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. trees and the forest mm -hmm. done. Just like what my diagram there shows. Okay, good. <coughs> As long as you have your diagram and you know your the features.
Um, those of you, if you have finished and you're just waiting around, please. Receiving students too, if you have finished with your diagram. Okay. I didn't put my question mark. Okay, if you have finished, please. Those of you finished with your diagrams. What are the importance of rainforests? Okay, receiving students, you can at least give two or three, think of two or three important things about the rainforest, okay? Why are the rainforests important? What does it give us? Why is it important? Why are rainforests important? Sorry, excuse me. Why are rainforests important? That's if you have finished with your diagram and your labels, you answer that question. If you haven't finished, please, can you fin uh, finish off your diagrams quickly so you can um, go on to the next question? This only, I can see one mistake there. One. Not one, but huh? mixed up. There's something mixed. It's this one here. Yeah. Group seven, have you finished?
All right. I think we'll correct our first question. All right, so receiving students, I hope you've, you've drawn your diagram or you sketched your dry diagram, sorry. And don't forget, later on you can color in your diagram. All right, number two, labeling the features of the rainforest. All right, you have your diagram and then your arrows beside each. All right, let's start from the bottom part, okay? What do we have at the bottom? All right, at the bottom we have the forest floor, okay? Okay, we have the forest floor. This is where The dead leaves, all right, okay, where it is damp on the forest floor, okay, receiving students, and where not much um, sunlight comes to, okay. The next arrow, what do we have here? Does anyone know? So we have the forest floor, we have the shrub layer. Okay, very good. Shrub layer where we have shrubs growing. Okay, shrub layer. And then what do we have here? Good try, Zimalin. We have the upper story. Okay, imagine doesn't come somewhere here. Imagine meaning to emerge, it's right up there, okay? A forest tree that is taller than any other trees, okay? All right, upper story, what do we have here? Canopy, okay, we have the canopy, okay, canopy, and then the most tallest, okay, we have the emergent, all right. Okay, so receiving students, eight C's, make your correction here. So emergent is, we have the emergent, canopy, upper story shrub layer, and the forest floor. Okay. Okay, just make your corrections quickly. All right, next question, please. Importance, importance of rainforest. Okay, quickly. Why are rainforests important? It's 
Yes, Charlie. I'm sorry, can you pass the mic, please? Cool. Sorry. Rainforests are important because they keep that cool. They give? Keep that cool. Oh, okay, thank you, Charlie. All right, anything else about um, rainforests, why they're important, Eunice? Rainforests provide us oxygen, which we breathe in. Not okay, very good. Rainforests provide oxygen. Yes, anything else about rainforests, Anna? Rainforest provides medicine. Okay, good. Provide medicine, yes. Anything else about rainforests? Why rainforests are so important? Okay, Zimalin. Rainforests provide food such as meat, animals. Okay, provides us food. Yep. Okay. Nakawas. Rainforests provide timber for making houses and furniture. Okay, very good. Oh, we'll have last one, Sulang. The rainforest provides homes for many animal species. Okay. Okay, um, can everyone sit down straight, please? All right, why rainforests are important? Okay, you've given all your, your answers, your reasons to why rainforests are important. Okay, I'll just read three points of why rainforests are important, okay? So I want you to sit up straight and so you, you can listen. All right, receiving students? Okay, it reads, okay, rainforests provide habitats, all right, for more species of plants, animals, insects, and birds than any other environment on our, on our sorry, environment found on our planet. Okay, scientists estimate that 60 to 90% of all species of life are to be found in rainforests. Unfortunately, the widespread destruction of many of the world's rainforests has caused a significant decline in the number of plant and animal species on Earth. Okay, that's one. That's one importance of um, rainforests. Provide habitats ah, for more species. All right, the next one, climate. Rainforests influence our local and global climates. Around 50 to 80% of the moisture in the air above rainforests, for example, comes from the trees in the rainforest. Uh, if large areas of these lush rainforests are cleared, then the average rainfall in the area will drop. Eventually, the area's climate will get hotter and drier. This process could convert a rainforest into a sparse grassland or desert. So rainforests are also able to absorb over 90% of their rainfall in their leaves. Thus, they are able to slow water runoff by gradually releasing the water over time into streams and rivers. This helps control soil erosion and flooding. So that's another important um, thing about uh, rainforests. And the last one, carbon oxygen cycle. Rainforests are vital to the earth in helping to recycle carbon and oxygen. Carbon di dioxide is the gas released into the air by humans globally, mainly through the burning of okay, fossil fuels, for example, car exhaust factories. Okay, rainfall, sorry. Rainforest trees are able to remove carbon dioxide from the air and return oxygen into its place or in its place. This is why our global rainforests are often called the Earth's lungs, as can be, yes, sorry, the Earth's lungs. 
Rainforests are major producers of the Earth's oxygen. Scientists believe that nearly 50% of the oxygen, sorry, of the Earth's oxygen is produced by rainforests in the Amazon region alone. Nearly 40% of the world's carbon is contained in the trees of the rainforest. As rainforests are cut down and burned, carbon dioxide is released into the, at, at, sorry, into the Earth's atmosphere. Eventually, as this gas builds up, it traps the sun's heat and warms up the atmosphere, leading to what scientists call the global warming or greenhouse effect. Did you see that on 60 Minutes yes. last, last night? OK. All right. Thank you. So that's the importance of our rainforests. So most of our trees are being cut down. Rainforests are being destroyed. And that leads us to All right, we'll stop here. Thank you very much, HCs and receiving students for participating today. Receiving teachers, our keyword for today is rainforest. Thank you, HCs and receiving students for listening. Receiving schools. Here is your reference for your next lesson. Your strand, substrand, outcome, topic, materials, and your reference.